So they're going to reduce NHS queues and they're going to lower crime and they're going to lower taxes, guys. Uh, these are the cornerstones of this manifesto. So I think it's going to be interesting. I don't see how they can lower taxes. This is something that keeps getting kicked up every other week. It's like Groundhog Day. We've got to lower taxes. We're conservatives, for goodness sake. We're supposed to be small state and low tax. Why can't we lower taxes? While people with brains are like, <laughs> why can't you fucking listen? Why can't you just let this just solidify and settle in your head? What are you not grasping here? You've spent loads of money. You've borrowed loads of money. That has exploded this national debt, which you now have to service. You have to pay installments on that. It's like a car you got on finance. And every year you have to apportion 100% of your GDP on the value of this debt. You fucking moron. That's why there's no money for tax cuts, because every time you borrow, you've got to start paying it a little bit more back. And that has resulted in the tax burden going up and up and up and up. And people like you, imaginary Tory, imaginary frothing, belching backbencher, are like, I just don't understand it. Like, how are you not getting it? <laughs> We've got to cut taxes. Oh, God. I just, I despair, you know? But this is, this is the sort of modus operandi now of modern politics, modern politicians, isn't it? It's like they present you with a topic. They present you with the discussion point for that day, that week. In this case, tax cuts. Next week, stop the boats. The following week, inheritance tax or, you know. Every time they surface this topic of conversation, people like you and I, or people like, I don't know, a James O'Brien, or Jeremy Vine, or a Marina Perkis, whoever, will listen to what they're saying, bring it in, dismantle it, explain why it's rubbish, abject nonsense, and then serve it back to them and go, there, I think we sort of put that to bed now. And the mistake that we make on the left is assuming that these people are governed by sense, <laughs> by logic and sanity. And they're not, guys. They are complete fucking lunatics because they present us a problem or a challenge or an idea like we need to get rid of inheritance tax or like we have to reduce the tax burden. We dismantle it, cut it up and explain why that's absolute rubbish and why it's actually kind of your fault, guys. And we serve it back to them. And then they don't just they don't take it in. They don't go like, oh, OK, cool. Thanks for explaining that to me. Yeah, no, I get it now. I understand. Instead, what they do is this is this is what happens, right? We've got to lower the tax burden. Right, okay, well, you, you can't do that. You tried that once before with uh, Liz Truss, Quasi Quartang. Um, it, what happens is then you don't have enough money to service the debt, and then bonds tend to tank, and because pensions are based so close to bond, then pensions start to collapse, and then the Bank of England have to magic all of this money, and then we're all way, 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 way worse off. There's no money to cut taxes. Do you understand? Then this is them. They go. Uh, we, we, no, we, we, we've got to cut taxes. <laughs>